It's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering and uh, good to be back with you again today. I've got Simon from Douglas Sci-Fi. How are you, mate? Good. Thanks Very for coming good. along. Thanks for me. So um, we thought we'd get Simon, who is uh, he's actually knows quite a bit about um, uh, video reproduction, which is great, but um, he's a big two-channel guy um, and he was going to fire a couple of questions at me. Uh, yeah, so well, let's go. One of the main ones, I suppose, I, I, is t televisions. They, they have a multitude of settings. Uh, and, and back when it was CRT tubes, when I was a bit more into it, it was brightness, contrast, colour. And that was about it. So uh, what's going on with TVs now? But brightness and contrast, for me, were very important to get the correct picture. And now half the TVs I, I look at, I'm like, what's going on with that picture? They are still massively important. Um, and in fact, you probably notice when you buy uh, TVs, especially projectors, uh, they talk about dynamic range, right? Yes. And that is, you know, how black can you get, how white can you get um, on your on your TV, um, and uh, it's the range in between that determines how dynamic your picture really is. But they're two really, really important controls. And in fact, getting them wrong can wreck your TV. And uh, the people who watch the Game of Thrones, um, um, Rep TV experience. Yeah, 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 um, yeah so not Rep TV, <laughs> Rep TV experience. Don't worry, you won't. Um, we're not going to blow up your TV. No, no, you can't damage your TV by. T <laughs> well, actually, if you turn your contrast up too bright on some TVs, you can probably push it. Right, you know, if you just left it on a, an image. But anyway, the, the point being is that um, things like the notorious Game of Thrones, uh, uh, that's your fault. Um, you didn't have your TV adjusted properly. So. Um, Let's let's sort of get back to some of the Speaking basics. Speaking of Game of Thrones, mm. brightness contrast. Yep. I've noticed often you fire up a PlayStation game and there's a calibration that goes set. You know, Absolutely. So yeah. Yep. Is that tidying with Absolutely all that? valid. So you can use those test patterns there, and I'll pop some in the description below that you'll have links to 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 be able to use. So um, and they're useful for getting a TV or projector right. But what is brightness and contrast? So brightness actually refers to black level. Yep. All right, so that's how much you've you've uh, positioned the the lowest black that your TV can do, and how much detail that will actually show. And contrast shows your whites. Yep. All right, so um, the the interesting thing is if you're looking at a sky scene and you turn your contrast too high, then all the wispy little clouds will disappear. You lose detail. Yep, seen that. Right, so with and it you, hurts your eyes and it yeah, and it's well, glary and it's, it's, it's right. just yeah. Put sunnies on to yeah. watch TV. So right. no fun. Um, in, with your black levels, if you turn your black down too far, all of the detail disappears and everything just becomes black. Again, you've lost detail. So um, it's important to get it right. With your black level, if you turn it up too far, all your blacks become sort of light greys. So what, a bit like black, light grey? Yeah. See yeah. what we did there? Yeah. No, it's a bit like your hair. Oh no, here he is. <laughs> Enzo, how are you, What's mate? What's going on well, here? Hey, hey, hey. Enzo, how are hey. you? Being left out of videos. I yes, don't like this. I know. Sorry about uh -huh. that. The, the three amigos oh, are back. The, the uh, top AV top gear. gear. No, I just I was asking Enzo about brightness and contrast on, on TVs, modern modern TVs. Yeah. yeah. So, the, the, maybe different. You've been selling TVs for ages, so it's changed heaps. Yeah. I'd, I'd assume. The the problem is, it's really just become confusing. When when it was CRT TVs, um, and for those of you who are young, CRT TVs T's were smaller and they had a curve on them. And they're about this. The curve went and the other way. Heavy as well. The curve went the other way, yeah. not this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the, they actually had very good pictures on them, and um, they had, as you said, they had a brightness, they had a contrast, they had a maybe a hue and tint, or you know, um, color, uh, and that was maybe sharpness, and that was about it. Um, the new TVs have got a host of settings, which is great because we can get amazingly good pictures, but it can be as confusing as hell. Um, but today we're just going to talk about brightness and contrast and why you need to get it right. So for me, if, if you get the black levels wrong, as we said, you either everything looks flat and black or it looks light and washed out, and, and neither of those is good. So what you do is you put one of these test patterns up, and normally they're black bars, and one of them is called black, and then there's a couple normally to the left that are called blacker than black. And strangely enough, you shouldn't see those. Yeah. And the, then what you should see is the one that is black, and then maybe 2% and 4% black to the right normally. That's generally the way they go. Um, and so you adjust it until you can see all the, all the ones to, to black, and then you shouldn't see the other ones. With contrast, it depends on the pattern, but normally you've got a row of blocks, and you turn your contrast up, until they start to disappear, and you need the one that is at the right level, 
um, to, to be showing and, and generally nothing after that. You can turn it down a little bit and you will see more detail but you start to lose that dynamic range again. Your whites start to come in and um, you know that's actually called white crush. So um, the, the interesting thing here is it actually also depends a lot on <laughs> um, it depends on your ambient conditions. I was conditions. just admiring how shiny your head is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Got to get rid of those top lights, right? So you can do that. Where's your nipple? Where's your nipple presser? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I'll just go off and get it. Yeah, so actually, this um, is a good example of how picture changes when your environment is yeah. completely different. I mean, this is a very, very. Have you discussed method. that yet? I mean, I haven't been here. No, no. So, yeah. but see how there's if your TV is full bright, bright, there's all different levels of black. Actually, here. this is a really good example. Yeah. So, but if we yeah. Andrew, oh, no, 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 t-shirt. <laughs> 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 All right, That's so, yours so, is so, so looking, looking at Simon's tissue, you've got a light grey, well, even the white, you've got the black, you've got my favourite old shirt, and you've got Enzo's face. And <laughs> if we now, this is the magic button, you ready for this? Is it just one? Uh, double. Double? double? Why did you tell him? It would have been more fun if he embarrassed himself. There you go. Now, you'll find that actually. Now I'm gone. Yeah, now it's going to throw the scene and you can't see anything. And now Enzo's Spanish. <laughs> so. Well, you can see my teeth. But, what you're probably seeing on this camera is a, a, a loss of detail in the blacks, right? And, and the same sort of thing applies. One button, and we're back. So, um, the, the big deal here is that if you actually set your black levels in a dark room with your TV uh, and, and you get that correct, when you turn all the lights on, you'll actually lose all the detail. So try it, you know, set your black levels accurately with all the lights off uh, and with your TV running, of course. Um, and, and get that correct, then turn the lights on, you'll see all that detail will disappear. So if you don't have a test pattern, I know what we used to do uh, was you'd, you'd freeze frame uh, the credits in a movie because mm. it's black and white, mm. there's no colour, there's no faces. Mm. Is that something that would still be You can still do it the, the, and you could turn it down, but you've got to be careful because you, there's nothing to really tell you where to stop yeah. on, on the other side. In the old days when TV stopped, mm. you know how TV stopped yeah, at yeah, 10 yeah, o'clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to, used the to the have, snow. no, but then they'd have like oh, the, yeah, the colour pattern. The ABC test ABC pattern. It's called pattern. the pluge, would you believe? Yeah, yeah right. The, the picture, pluge. Picture line up generating equipment, if I remember. Someone's going to correct me on that one. Um, but, right. um, yeah, it was the old ABC or BBC yep, test yep. pattern. But That's yeah. in the days when TV would stop. Yeah. It doesn't stop anymore. Yeah, no, most of you wouldn't remember that. <laughs> so, I'm surprised you remember it, actually. But, um, so the important thing is, if you actually watch TV at night with the lights low or off, or you watch TV during the day, you've got different presets in your TV, and what you really need to do is set one for the dark room and one for the light room. And this is really important because if you were to try and watch something like Crown, uh, Crown of Thrones. That's two different shows, <laughs> the Crown, the Crown and Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah. Game of Thrones, um, that you normally watch at night, but you sort of decide to you know, binge watch it during again. the day, then you're gonna find that you're not gonna see any of that detail at all. Right? So you have two choices, you either turn the lights off again, or you adjust mm. the brightness and contrast in TV so you can see that image. Um, Some TVs now though, a lot of them have day viewing, night viewing. They do have a built-in sensor, but I've found that most of them are not accurate. No. And, and the range with which they operate, and also it's annoying because if it does sense different lights, then it starts to fluctuate. Starts changing. So, yeah. so look, you've got plenty of presets, you've got you know, probably user one and user two. So set your black levels for when you have the lights off and your white levels and then set your black levels and white levels for when your light's on. Or use the game console, have you touched on that yet? Yeah, we have. Well, yeah, 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 but that has set generated, patterns. It's a bit... Yeah. The, the but other, the, the, yeah, go on. Sorry, I was going to say, the, the other thing with that uh, is TV's not necessarily calling it brightness, no, backlight, yeah, black level, well, I know. All different, like how confusing do they want to make it here? What, yeah, what do we do? Look, look, they're making it very, very difficult now. Um, so brightness was always black level, contrast was always white level, but then they invented LED or LCD TVs and now they have, of course, OLEDs. And so they have another control that they're starting to call brightness as well. Now I just did some Sony TVs and in Sony it's actually, there are two different controls both called brightness and they do two different things. So um, what you need to do is um, get an image up on your screen and adjust the brightness control and see if your, your greys become light grey and very washed out. If you do, you're actually adjusting black levels. So if, if it looks like Andrew has a new shirt on, then yeah. it's not working for you. <laughs> if, if the whole image generally seems to get brighter, then you're adjusting the backlight. 
Okay. It's like a dimmer switch. It's like yeah, like yeah. a dimmer switch. It's like the light behind the LCD panel. Um, so it is confusing. If you're not sure, RTFM, read your manual and have a have a, a look to see what you're adjusting. But what did you say? RTFM. Read, read, read the flipping R -T manual. RTRFM. He's talking about a local radio station. Yeah. So anyway, right. Okay. Um, the radio. So yeah. So you need to um, uh, make sure that you adjust your brightness, which will be um, the black level, your contrast, which should be a white level, and now your backlight. And again, your backlight is something that you would normally adjust, so if you're going to use the two different presets, <laughs> that, that's it's the backlight. Is backlight, backlight so. <laughs> take, take that control <laughs> off him. If you've, got, if you've got the two presets, um, then set one for evening viewing, <laughs> where you would have your backlight turned down a little bit, your brightness control could be turned down a bit more because you'll see more detail, and your contrast will probably come down just a little bit because it will be a bit harsh on the eyes. Um, contrast also does increase the light output overall of a TV, so again, that can be a little bit confusing. Um, and then for your daytime viewing, you would generally turn up your backlight, you would turn up your, your contrast, sorry, and your brightness would be adjusted so that the picture looks correct. And if you're not sure, just put a, a, a TV on that's got a lot of uh, subtle black tones in it and just turn your brightness down until you start to just lose the finer details and then bring it up a couple of notches and you're going to be pretty, pretty close. The end result of all this is you'll end up with a very three-dimensional image with a lot of depth and that's because of this dynamic range mm. that you've got right. So look, um, it's one of the simpler adjustments you can make in a TV but it will dramatically change your viewing and uh, you, you will be able to see a lot more detail um, and you'll actually be able to uh, enjoy a TV show or a movie also without the exhausting glaring um, you know, light that comes off a TV and that can be oh, Which awesome. is interesting because we actually had a lady recently who was a bit older, she was probably in her 80s, she said that she wanted to work out what she could do to because she found her TV too bright at night time. Yep. Yeah. It, it's funny you mentioned Game of Thrones before because the kerfuffle the next day. Oh, that's uh, like I saw. That was memes. I saw. I saw it fine. What are you talking about? Mm. And I think again, having different names for the same, or, same name for different controls is just yeah. the dumbest thing. You can so do. we know that every TV manufacturer is sitting watching our videos, right? Of course, they all are. All yeah. the big ones: so, Panasonic, you know, Samsung, Sony. Guys, do us we a know favor, Sony and BenQ are. It's either. <laughs> hey boys. It, it's, e it's either brightness and contrast and backlight or it is black level and white level and backlight but can we please get rid of two different brightness controls like and bla like black level white that's level. exactly what it is, it is. white, white level, level that's exactly what it is and, and backlight which that's is exactly, exactly what, what it is i'll i'll opt, I'll opt for it. don't touch it just call it professional <laughs> <laughs> so that, so there you go guys or everybody um you know, uh, if you uh, start to get stuck into those controls, don't be afraid to play with them. You won't damage your TV or your projector. But if you, get, if you get it right, do a bit of research, a bit of Googling. And uh, look, if you're in Australia, give us a call. We're always glad to have a chat with you. And oh, we'll take calls from the US, but not whilst we're asleep. Andrew's phone's on 24-7, don't lie. <laughs> no, I have to turn it to mute now, because I huh? do get calls from everywhere. From me. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of brightness, time to go. Time to go. Thank you very much, guys. Bright, dark, time to go. We're gone. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.